Hello everyone. So in this video, let us uh, create uh, a simple report using Easy BI. And uh, the report that I want to create is uh, something like this. So basically, the idea here is to create, uh, let us say, heat map. And heat maps are important, and uh, they are good, basically, to visualize what is happening. Uh, maybe in your team. So in this example, let us say you are maintaining, uh, you are, maybe you're responsible for uh, Jira service management uh, based uh, uh, projects and you want to know the number of tickets getting raised based on, of course, their issue types over the past uh, few weeks or months or maybe last year. And maybe you want to know how many issue types of a specific type uh, in a given month are maybe getting raised. A simple example could be, let us say you're talking about major incidents or maybe you're talking about minor incidents. If, let us say, the number of major incidents are more than, let us say, five, maybe you want to change the color of the cell to something like red or, or any, any criteria that you may have. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just giving you a simple example. The idea here is to create a simple table but of course, uh, because it is visual uh, and by looking at this particular report, if you have a lot of uh, tickets, maybe you just want to focus on the red ones first because that is where the problem is. And of course, you know, because it is a, it, it, it is a report in ECBI, you can actually click on it and you can do some further analysis like, you know, why these, uh, why in the month of uh, June, we have 15 open items something similar. I'm just trying to give you an idea. So what I'll do, I'll probably uh, get rid of this report. I'll not, uh, I'll probably not uh, save this. So let us go to the analyze and I'll leave this. And uh, to create a report, what I'll do is I'll of course start from the very beginning. I'll go to my folder, all projects, because I like to organize my things at, at one place. So let us create a new report. And when you create a new report, uh, you will get this uh, interface where you can start working. Now in this particular case, we want to first drag the time. So whenever you're dealing with uh, something like, you know, number of issues raised in the last one month or one year, you, you can start b with the time dimension. And uh, the next thing that you can do is expand it, go to the um, all hierarchy and uh, then click on uh, maybe month or quarter. So let us take a look at quarter. So I think this number looks good or maybe month, I guess. So I think month month is probably better because we have a breakup. Now we want this information for uh, maybe issue types as well. Like maybe we want, we want to know why issues, I mean, by the way, we are just looking at issues created. Uh, so this is something that you need to be aware of. I mean, you can change it to something else if you want. But of course, we are just working on this example. The objective here is to not create a table, but to, but, but to show you how to do conditional formatting. Now, what what I want, I want a breakup based on issue type. I can drag my issue types here. And then I can again do the same thing. I can expand it based on the name of the issue type maybe. So let us uh, click on the name. And now I believe uh, we have uh, this nice breakup, which is looking good. And uh, and what I what I really want to do, let, let me just select uh, maybe uh, should type here maybe the above one yeah this this is probably better okay so let, let us uh, let us this this table is of course showing us the information that we want but we want to of course visualize it uh, so if you click on the issues created and if you click on uh, cell formatting what you need to do you can specify here uh, the range like if the number is between this and this then uh, change the color of the cell background so let us uh, look here. So we have something called as 14. We have also we also have 18. So let us start uh, the conditional formatting. So issues created, cell formatting. And if let us say the number is between uh, maybe 10 and 20, let us start with the broad range. Then we'll probably change it later on. I want the color to be maybe this purplish red. I'm not really very good with colors, but uh, you can use the hexadecimal value if you want. For the timing, let us use this dark maroon purple i'm so sorry about this color but uh, i don't know uh, if it is maroon i think it is no it is definitely not maroon because maroon was the color of my school uh sweater and 
coat but anyways okay so this is like a purplish color purplish reddish color and uh, if the number is between let us say five and nine maybe use uh, orange if the number is between uh, maybe 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 zero and one or not one zero and four then i want green color so this is of course a simple range and if you click on it and it is now working and it is now showing us this information in uh, different colors which is great but if you want you can of course further break it up i mean uh, change the range so instead of having like uh, maybe 10 to 20 let us use 15 to 20 like a dark purplish color then for uh, 10 between 10 and 14 i want uh, light dish color i guess this one i think this is fine for uh, 5 and 9 i want uh, orange maybe i'll i'll probably do for the breakup if it is between let us say 2 and 4 i want maybe this light color and finally if it is bit between 0 and 1 i want maybe um, green color let us see if i can yeah maybe maybe this one yeah okay this is good apply so this is looking i guess uh, fine and uh, I, th I think uh, for orange we do have some variation even for this purple and light purple color but for green we just have one color but the idea here is to understand how to do it and once you're done you can of course you know save it okay so heat map per issue type save it and um, what i can also do is uh, i can also maybe add it to the dashboard because why not oh before we add it to the dashboard maybe we can add a project and issue types as like a filter on top because you know you may want to change the filter maybe you want to focus on a specific uh, project only so let us click on it and uh, where is my dimension okay this is my dimension drag the project to the to the pages yep maybe you should have is already there so i mean you can actually create there, there is a way to do it but for the timing let us just use project okay so save and uh, dashboard and then i can click on the edit and uh, i'll probably add one more report here on top go to all projects and uh, heat map so this will be added at the very bottom i'll probably drag it here and i'll expand it so this look this is looking fine i think i think we have a nice report so let us save it save the dashboard and and we are done and by the way if you want you can uh, okay so this okay let us try to change it to maybe maybe android so yeah this is working so this is definitely good if you want to do further analysis you can click on it why there are 13 issues in the month of june you can do drill across and you can do a signee um, maybe status you can uh, okay so most of them are unassigned so let us go back let us try to understand something else like maybe maybe we, we want to know the priority or, uh, or maybe maybe something else May maybe let us try the priority i think they are all okay so 12 of them are 12 12 issues are high priority and one is medium so th so the good thing is that the good thing is that you can actually manipulate this on the, on the fly and the same report will of course uh, i mean because we added it to the dashboard we can also go back to the evbi dashboard that we embedded in the jira dashboard and this should now be visible and of course uh, when you have a dashboard you can actually uh, do a lot of wonderful things with it like you can maybe create a wall, wall, wall board and uh, maybe you know keep it running somewhere or maybe in, in case you're in the office and you have a big screen you have a lot of money and uh, you you may want to display your uh, your issues uh, you can so i thought i'll probably share this very quickly and uh, this is of course uh, a simple way to display the information uh, and again if you are new to ezbi although the reports look look complicated but they are not they are easy to create let me just uh, take a look at the wall board i okay it was not working earlier so now it is working so you know you, you know you have a nice report and uh, let me just try to find the one that i just created i think it was showing the 
uh, I want to view my configure wall board. Let us configure it. I don't really want this. These two I want maybe my easy BI one done in the wall board. Let us select the wall board one more time. Come on. View as wall board. Uh, not this one. Okay, let us go to the easy BI. I, I'm pro I think I'm trying to make it work. Okay. All projects easy BI. And uh, okay, so I think this um, okay because we we have this single dashboard. Maybe it will not work. So I'll probably check it later. But uh, if you want, you can also create this wall board for your normal Jira projects, uh, normal Jira board uh, dashboards. But I'll take a look at why it is not really working for ECBI. But anyways, I think uh, that was not really what I was hoping to show you uh, in this video. I'll I'll figure it out later. But uh, you can have it on your dashboard and uh, make it work. Uh, for your team, so they can so they can analyze the data and they can uh, understand uh, this table in a better way because now we have a lot of colors. So that is I that is all I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.